Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. Right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! I'm a terrible mother. Come on! All right, let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Science is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? I see them. Marston, you and Eli, go check it out. Whoa. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain meat. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Look, Marshal! More vultures! God damn it! Come on, let's take a look. Whoa there! More dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! If you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston. The place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Let's search the area! Shed's clear, Marshal! No 
one here! Shoot that door open. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. This came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. Run for the shed. Keep your head down. Oh, thank God. Jesus well. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Sorry, partner. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes let's go get on your horse boy follow me we can still catch him yeah Think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if they cut this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your face with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? 
We used to run in a gang together. He was once like family. Yeah. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he left me... Wait, who's that up there? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! This way! Get ready, boys! Here they come! Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> this something makes you still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. <laughs> <laughs> 